this morning. The Cleveland Clinic just released details on a unique liver transplant surgery. The hope here is to encourage more people to come forward and be a living donor. Homa Bash explains how this new procedure works in this News 5 original. Living donor liver transplants have been around for years, but what is unique here is that instead of cutting the donor open down the middle, this was the first time they've done the surgery laparoscopically, making a few tiny incisions in the abdomen to remove a piece of the liver. The surgery was done by Dr. Chun Hyuk David Kwan, who says only about 5% of liver donations come from living donors. With this less invasiveness, maybe uh, more donors could step forward. People who want to, do, to help people, but they're afraid of the surgery, of the consequences. The liver is the only organ in our bodies that can regenerate. And Dr. Kwan says it typically takes about two months for a healthy liver to grow back to its original size. Now, using laparoscopic surgery to do the transplant means recovery time is even quicker. Because of that minimally invasive nature, the recovery of the patient becomes a lot faster, less pain. For the family who underwent this surgery, life has changed. Both the donor and the recipient are back home in Florida recovering. We caught up with them over FaceTime. Oh my God, I owe him my life. He's a great person. The opportunity to save someone's life is is there at your fingertips to do it. All you gotta do is make the call, and I guess a lot of people don't realize that. Data shows roughly 3,000 people die every year or become too sick waiting to receive a deceased liver transplant. Dr. Kwan says he hopes this new minimally invasive surgery will encourage more people to consider living donations. Homa Bash, News 5.